G'day guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz again and today we're back in the kitchen and we're making some vinegar ales. Woohoo! So if you've not been here before, we're talking about aquariums, tropical fish, aquatic plants and all the cool stuff within the aquarium hobby. Um, that's basically it. Cool, let's get on with the video. Alright, so vinegar eels is pretty simple to do. You need apple cider vinegar, apple, a knife, a cutting board, a container, a culture, and some water. Pretty easy ingredient list, really. Uh, first things first, we need to cut a couple of slices off our apple. I'm pretty sure I just said take a couple of slices off our apple, not a couple of slices of sli 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 apple. Put an apple there, take the sticker away. Too easy. Into our container it goes. Next. Crack open our apple cider vinegar, slam that in. Then we get the same equivalent of water, so it's a 50 50 mix. So. So the apple itself is what the vinegar eels are going to eat. It's pretty simple. I might even put a little bit more apple on there. Just because I can. Apples go in. We get our culture. This one I've had going now for about six weeks. One of multiple. And we just seed it. So now that I've mixed it up, you're not going to be able to see it anyway. But there was heaps and heaps and heaps in there, and all that mucky stuff is part food. Put our lid on. And it's done. I'm going to get a bit of paper towel and put it in there so bugs and stuff can't get into it. But it is really that simple. That is the beginning of a vinegar oil culture. So here's another culture I've had running for the same time as the other one, about six weeks. Not quite sure if the lens is going to be able to bring it in properly. But all that stuff there, that's all live food for small fish and fry and stuff like that. Particularly fry as opposed to small fish because these are quite small. Uh, vinegar eels are more known to be sort of second stage food as opposed to food for adults and that kind of stuff. Batter spatter, that kind of things might might be alright for this sort of size, but generally speaking this is a fry food and a second stage fry food of that. So I remembered that I had a bit of filter wall outside so I've just stuffed that in there so air can still get in, bugs cannot get in. The reason I've gone so big for this one is I want to make this a bit of a master um, colony type thing. I've got multiple small ones outside that I'm, I'm sort of using as part of a harvesting flow. But I think if I can keep a, a big one, this is about a 4 litre container, if I can keep this one going and then use this one to feed out into my smaller flows and then feeding into my feeding bottles, then I think that'll be my best option potentially going forward. So I've always got at least one big culture going. It'll be four or five the sort of smaller cultures and then two or three feeding cultures. So that's kind of my mindset on how I can get this going. So I've always got a constant flow of vinegar eels to work with. Okay, so the old vinegar eels are pretty easy to harvest. I've got a wine bottle here. There's my vinegar eel solution in here. There's a bit of filter floss and up through here is clean water. And if we check through here, it is absolutely swarming with them. It's pretty simple to harvest them. A little pipette or a syringe or what have you. If we run up and in. And now that is absolutely full of them, so we take them over to the tank and feed them out. Not certain, not certain how well this will show up on camera. 
right, we'll see. Let's see it's more for the slightly smaller and the fry and stuff like that. I can't even see them now. They're in there. They're aquatic um, organisms, so they're not going to die off in there anytime soon, so the fish will find them. Oh, yeah, there they are. No, oh, they're out of focus again. So they're pretty small, so it's going to be pretty hard to, to keep focus on it. That and the light above this tank is pretty average now, which I like. Oh, Curly's coming up. You can see with them being that small, you can see them moving around in the water there, being that small, perfectly good for fry. That's exactly what they're for. These guys have no real interest in them, too small for them. So they might get sucked back later in the day. There we go. That is actually how you uh, culture your vinegar worms and feed it out. It's pretty simple.